<laughs> What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Eno. Right now we are walking through the streets of our new district uh, beside these beautiful buildings and trees, the mountains in the background. Happy people living here and the beautiful church and university here as well. And I think it's time to upgrade even more before we place a park here where there is only barren grass at the moment. Looking back up again, what we can see, we could upgrade quite a lot of buildings here. So artisans want to upgrade, workers and farmers. For the first step, I think we want to continue operation, get rid of farmers in Crown Folds. And for this, we are going to upgrade all the farmers here to the far end of my city. Consuming my last timber there, as we can see, also causing a farmer shortage that we have there now. And I think we only have some farmers here now, here, and probably some more down here, which we could also upgrade at some point. I think they're missing, yeah, a warehouse or a marketplace that we could place for them here. That should get rid of it. This should go now to 100%, hopefully. Very good. So now we could also upgrade this whole district here then soon um, to get rid of even more farmers because I really don't want to have them in Crown Falls anymore. We still have some farmers out here, but we just get rid of them like that and could, well, place something else there. But where we are going to replace the farmers is in Andor. So in Andor, we've also st already started here with this nice looking city or village in the uh, harbor area here. We also have battle cruisers here for the timber that I want to get and we'll want to have more farmers here now. Not that many. We don't need that many right away. Probably never again, but for now, let's have a few farmers here in this area there. So we're going to have another marketplace there. Definitely, definitely another pop and also another fire station. And then we can just have more of those buildings there and what I can see is we definitely need to circumvent that street there like that perfect and then also more farmers here and here and here coming closer now to the schnapps production that we have to our potato farms down here so I really just want to get rid of the farm problem I don't want to create a new problem by having a farmer overflow in my colonies so we don't want to have too many of them because I will also get rid of the farms at some point or most of the farms so there now we have a few more oh that is my bad so we'll just have some smaller park area here some flowers there and some smaller trees. A bit of beauty in this village here, which isn't so bad looking, especially with the church and the gardens in the in the center there. And as you can see, farmer workforce is going up. We could just have a few more here. This should still be within the reach of the marketplace there. Yep, and Andor is okay, and we still should have another... Don't we have another smaller village somewhere? Doesn't look like it. I thought we would have a village here somewhere, but nope. So that's really the only village that we have, and... Yeah, we just should have lots of farmers here then. Also, up here. Having another marketplace here then. And of course, another pop just beside the marketplace. That really should be enough though. It's already going up there and of course, farmer population is also going to grow. So we're going to use more and more fish here now and schnapps where we are producing it and lead less and less here in Crown Falls. That's the goal. Where we already have some more timber again so in this case, I could now continue upgrading some more workers. No artisans at this point. I'm pretty sure 
I can still upgrade them again in the future at some point. Right now, I really just want to get rid of more workers than in these areas here that we have. So also that block here. And then we have a bit of room here now to place a park. So we already have the groundwork for that. Now, as usual, I want to have a fence around our park. So a straight fence that we have. And in this case, I will probably need the center here again. Let's get rid of that alley there. And then we have that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And here we're just going to have, yeah, two entrances then, I guess. Because that's the middle then. And the same thing down here. Over here. And here we're probably going to have also another smaller center then. Which is working out. Perfect. I don't even need to replace anything here or so. And then we have the angles here. For a nice beautiful garden. That just increases our attractiveness even more. Here. Very good. We could actually, well, wait a second. We could actually also within the fence have another botanical garden. So we have the botanical garden here. A small one. And another zoo here. Very good. Yeah, let's do it like that. So we do have the fence there. There we have the botanical garden. Of course, it does cost us influence. But we do have, or we will be having enough of that soon anyway. So here we have the empty plot, 10 influence points as you can see. And yeah, I could have two here and then here and then here. So it's really just a small botanical garden that we could have here. Perhaps we get rid of that fence here. And this one's here going to end then. And those sides. Right, because there we have the entrance for the botanical gardens. And then, of course, we want to have something around that. And right, we could have something here. And that's really it. That's a really small one, but I just wanted to have a small one. And people can come in here on both sides, enter this little garden. Could I squeeze in something here? Nope, unfortunately I can't. Doesn't matter, we could have some fountains there. those both sides there and then also surrounding this with some flowers yep I think I will like this one here it's a really small and cozy botanical garden there and here we'll want to have a stature of some sorts Stone flower pot. Why not? Perfect. Where are they coming from? I haven't seen them before. They look perfect. But those things here for those entrances there also give me a small amount of attractiveness in that, uh, in that point there. What's that? Bust of Nathaniel Spoondrift. Well, I don't think that this will fit in there. And a duck pond, which is also a new ornament that we have. Um, we can use this somewhere here then for the zoo, I guess. A duck pond. And also here we have one. That's also a new ornament. That looks cozy there. We're going to have... Let's see. 
a little entrance there and also from here where people can go to. No, the dirt street is not looking good for that. But perhaps we have another ornament for that. Some pathway that we could use. Yep, like that. With some lightning. Why not? That's looking fine. And then we could have something like... We do have some flags here. We could also have... Hmm, let's see some benches. Close to that area here. And then perhaps some patches of grass here. Also here. with the natural looking uh, grass, so that's a, mo a mod there. So as you can see, this looks just very good here because it looks seamless in this area there. So we don't we don't know where the grass begins really and where it ends. So that's exactly what I like. Not with the standard ornament that you have where you clearly see the borders. Um, this is looking very cozy here. Just beside those artisan buildings here, we have a little duck pond where people can walk around, enjoy the day, and have this magnificent view of the main city or some of the buildings there. It's not, 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 not that high, unfortunately, but it still looks amazing, the whole thing there. Really cool idea. So I like that. I, I just found the duck pond, really. Probably researched it at some point or got it with one of the patches. And now we have this botanical garden here and just on the opposite end we're going to have the zoo. Now the zoo is not symmetrical in this case and the zoo doesn't need to be symmetrical, you know, it's a zoo. After all, people need to wander around in there. So we're going to have the entrance to the zoo here then, I guess. Yeah, just opposite of the botanical gardens. Doesn't cost me any influence, lucky. And then we have the entrance here. We could have the entrance at least symmetrical. No, that's not possible because of the zoo. Because of the zoo's entrance, so we're just going to have it here. Right, here in the middle we could still have something else then. And here we have the lion. We should have the lion somewhere. Should have been here actually, as far as I know. There he is. That's the zoo entrance. And then we have the zoo here then, but of course we'll still need to wait there a bit. So we have the compounds there for another one. That's still going to take a bit of time there because I need lots and lots of influence. And yeah, the music pavilion we could also have then over here somewhere. I like the idea of that. Having those two beautiful ornaments there. And this should definitely push us then to the next level for sure. So yeah, Botanical Gardens here instead of a normal park also gives us a bit more attractiveness. But as I said... We just need a bit more influence and we're getting there, we're getting there. Now I do have enough timber again to upgrade. So we could upgrade now this whole row here to artisans and also this one here. Having more and more artisans now on that side there, also some here. And now we're out of timber again, need to wait a bit. Now I do have two battle cruisers in Ender Door. Let's get some timber. I don't even have that much here. Let's get both Bye. of them. 
to crown falls so i have more room for upgrades then and as we can see it's also getting a bit busy here in crown falls so i will need to upgrade the harbor soon and yeah my two monitors now have also unloaded their cargo so now we have some more animals how many do we have now in crown falls one oh we have of course more items for botanical gardens here very good one two three four five six seven seven items for the zoo that's i think already too much but we'll see about that now those things are finished um i want to i think because yeah, we, we probably should lay out some groundwork here though for the compound. So we'll have it just as a blueprint, um, having it here. Because I want to know how many I can place over here. So I think for the seven of them, probably up to this point here. So we could use this one here. Yeah, there's the end of it. And here we can still have a few more farmers Where's my marketplace here? There. Perfect. For another block of buildings. Okay. No bridge here, of course, because we want to keep the picturesque um, area here. Here, though, we have a bridge, which we can put to a stone bridge now. And I don't know why we have a road here. Probably because of the plantations we had there. Those two bridges, um, yeah, let's move them closer to each other, though. Very good. So with that, so we have a bit of room here now, and also here more buildings could be in the future, um, where we could expand then if we want to. Now, I do have a bit more timber again, as usual. Let's upgrade. Why can I not upgrade them? Because of the school that is lacking here. And I think artisans will also need a school to upgrade. So I think with engineers, we could just get some engineers here then, into that area there. Let's upgrade those artisans there. That's right. And here we also have some more. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we're not getting much influence from those buildings here, you know. So those buildings are pretty much worthless when it comes to influence. It only really kicks in with the engineers and then goes off with the investors. They really give you a lot of influence back every time. Now, let's have a look at my goods that I'm producing right now. We are totally out of schnapps, but it doesn't matter so much anymore since we don't have that many farmers here. Um, I'm getting some schnapps from time to time. We're full on fish, we're clothes, sausage is now full as well. The same goes with the soap. Um, bread is enough. That's good to see. Canned food is looking good, but we should probably, yeah, also look a bit into canned food. Here, I want to have another propaganda again in the middle. Let's go to the old world where we're going to read, uh, hear some Russian choir now. I'm sure of it. And here we have Kath Home, and Kath Home oh, is not looking that good. The thing is, it's missing iron ore, so we probably need that from somewhere else. And I think in this case, Salzburg might be a good opportunity because we already have workforce here and infrastructure. And we can have, yeah, we have three empty iron deposits here that we can use. So let's get a warehouse over here. And now we're going for two iron mines. Just at the edge of Salzburg. No one will notice that. Two here. And we should have one more over here. So in this case, that should be a good distance there. And here we're now producing some more iron. How's the happiness looking? Oh, Salzburg inhabitants are really happy. So we could... Yeah, bump it up by 50%, only minus one happiness there. And now we just need a small, just a small one. So that monitor is enough for that. We also have another cargo ship here, so have two free cargo ships now. And Pocahontas 2. Pocahontas 2 is going to be on that trade route here for iron ore only. From Salzburg to Kaufholm, which is really just about the iron ore, since we do need quite a bit of it. 
Yeah, well, I do need a ship on that as well. And Pocahontas too. There it is. Very good. And don't worry, we are going to um, repair Sleepy Hollow as well at some point. It's just totally chaotic over here. At some point, we'll definitely need to do that. Especially because of the workforce that is quite low. Engineers are missing in Sleepy Hollow because lots of things are missing here. But I'm just going to keep the chaos a bit longer here. So repairing makes much more, or is much more fun. Um, Salzburg does looking good, so I don't worry about that too much. What I worry about though is the fleet of the Admiral, which is quite extensive. You know, he's got ships everywhere, patrolling around, and in the New World. Over here, <laughs> and over here. Oh, okay, that's ma mo yeah, mainly defense. There he's got a few, so he's got a, a big fleet, I gotta say that. For three items, it's not looking that good, but I'm collecting. I'm gathering my fleet here, and we're preparing something there, hopefully. It's hard to and ships. from time to time, I purchase another battle cruiser there. Right now, I lack the influence. So that's that. So Crown Falls is looking, yeah, look at that. Happiness is extraordinary. And we still have a few farmers here, I think, that we could upgrade. Now we can upgrade those farmers there as well. Because we built the warehouse also over here. We're just going to keep those as farmers there for now. And here, oh, we also have farmers that can upgrade now. Here, why this one? Oh, it still needs to grow by one. And then we can have the upgrade here too. And probably have another duck pond or something. Just because I absolutely adore this little park here. And then we have some grass around it, but we're using, of course, the modded grass for that. That we then have here on the outside where the zoo is then coming in. And we could, of course, also... Well, do we want to have a fence here? Yes, let's have a fence there for the zoo here then in the future. So there's a bit of room there for the fence. Other than that, looking good so far. Um, I do need to collect a bit of influence. That's going to be the next main thing. And of course, our goal, the Admiral. Stay tuned.